In this video, I'm going to show you how to use your mix and match mode on your Cricut Expression machine. Um, this is a great time saver when you're making cuts and you want to make more than one cut um, with different functions. Um, instead of having to retype them in, you can do them all at once. Um, and it works great if you're using the same paper for those cuts. So I'm just going to show you, I've chosen um, just one page to make it simple. I could flip around and do um, any of these cuts I want at the same time, but I'm just going to stick to one page with the different functions. So I'm going to show you how you can cut this butterfly, this butterfly, and this square all at the same time instead of having to um, repunch in what I want after each cut. So um, there are certain ways to do this and um, it is important that you follow the steps. So you push your mix and match button and it will say it's on over here. And then um, you can start punching in what you want. But make sure that you punch in, um, so I guess the best way to say this is if you're punching in one of the buttons that you need shift, punch that in first and then the function. So my first one I don't have to use a function so it's just the shift and then the C button. So I'm going to go shift C and you can see it up here. And then I'm going to go shift C again because I want this um, image up here. But then I'm going to push shorty and it will show the butterfly that I want there. And then the last one I want is um, shift C and then accent blackout. I pushed real dial size instead. Okay, so it shows you there. So I can use these buttons over here to just double check that it's the different ones I want. So there's the scalp square. The second one over is the spotted butterfly. And then the first one was the butterfly. So I can go ahead and make my cuts. I'm just going to dial this down to two and a half. Okay, the cut. Okay, so I'm going to unload my paper, and then I will try and do it so you can still see if I leave it on the mat. Okay, so there you can see there's still little holes that I need to punch out of this one um, to just show you. Like some of them have come out, I need to punch those ones out, but you can kind of get the idea that... Um, you could cut the three different things using um, the mix and match all at the same time. Um, I just want to show you why it's important that you do um, what you want and then the function. I'll just show you what it looks like if you don't do that. So I'm going to go um, reset all. Okay, push mix and match. And then let's say I wanted to do the same, the butterflies and then the square but I don't do the correct steps. So I'm going to go shift C and then I'm going to go shorty um, shift C and then I'll go um, accent blackout shift C. So this is what it'll look like if you do the function and then what you want rather than what you want and then the function like you're supposed to. So the last one I have is a scalp square and then I have the scallop square again and then the spotted butterfly but I don't have the regular butterfly so it won't show up the way you want it to. But um, 
if you forget to do that, you can always use your display screen to just um, have as a reference guide before you make your cut so you don't make that mistake. So just remember, key points is that you put in your buttons what you want and then your function um, and then you'll be able to make the cuts you want.